To measure active range of motion of the shoulder girdle, uh, we don't use the goniometer, it's just done by observation. So there are four movements that we're going to want to check. Uh, one is shoulder girdle elevation. Can you just shrug your shoulders? Okay, nice and high. There you go, that's what we're looking for. And then back down. Okay, let's do that again. Shrug nice and high, high as you can get. Excellent, back down. Okay, that shoulder girdle elevation, okay? Next one we want to check is shoulder girdle depression. So without moving your body, can you just reach down for your toes? Good. And then relax, okay? Reach down for your toes. Good. Shoulder girdle depression, okay? The next one we want to check for is uh, retraction. So if you can just pinch your shoulder blades together in back here, nice and tight. Very good. And then relax, okay? Let's try that again. Keep your arms a little more relaxed. Just pinch your shoulder blades together. Excellent. And relax. That shoulder girdle retraction. And then the last one we want to check is uh, shoulder girdle protraction. So can you bring around like this? Very good. And then relax. Okay. Relax. Okay. And bring them around forward again. Okay. Good. Relax. All right. Notice that shoulder girdle protraction involves the uh, scapulae coming around the side this way. Okay. Shoulder girdle protraction is not an anterior tip of the shoulder. That's a different movement. With all of these movements, we're just checking for um, full range of motion just by eyeballing it and also checking symmetry uh, right to left.